I hate absolutely everything because I just recorded almost an entire intro and bit of a video, not realizing that because of a PC restart, because of an update, my mic was muted. Anyway, if this happens a second time or the audio gets corrupted, I'm going to have a mental breakdown. Anyway, welcome back to Modern Warfare 3, everybody. Um, this is the new Jack Pro Protean or Protein, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> Aftermarket part. Excuse me, I just it, it, uh, burped. I just had a sip of water because I had a fly fly in my mouth while I was recording the uh, video that I just recorded and didn't work. This is Jack Cardian. Um, this is a aftermarket part for the Raw LMG. I'm going to actually leave this thing with absolutely nothing. I'm going to take off every single attachment except the Jack Cardian. I'm going to pick off the camo just so you can see it as is. I also have a black cell blueprint on, so you're going to get that little bit. So this is Jack Protean. You're probably wondering what this thing does. So first of all, you have a telescoping barrel that you can visually see go back and forth, basically meaning it has two different fire modes. First fire mode is semi-automatic. I forgot it's hybrid. It is a one-shot headshot at like a reasonable range, I'd say. So let's actually mount up here. Let's see. Yeah, I'd say it's a reasonable range one-shot headshot. And I believe it's a two-shot body. Yep, two-shot body. And then if you want to put on plates, let's do that. Four shots to the body. And at range, it gets just down to five. And I think, yeah, just down to five at minimum. With headshots, just double tap. Three shots, obviously, at more longer ranges. But, obviously, that's not the only thing this thing does. Um, this has two different fire modes, obviously, because most LMGs and most weapons this game do. Obviously, the uh, raw LMG usually has a fully automatic mode. With this... Its fire rate is increased significantly. Now, when we look at the stats of the Jack Protean, it does say fire rate is decreased, as well as um, you can see all the stats there. It is only factoring in the semi-automatic mode. Now, I'm going to show you how I personally... There's two builds I'm going to go with. We're going to go with one that mainly builds into the semi-auto, and then one that builds into the full auto. We're going to first off show you the one for semi-auto, or for full auto, and then we'll go with gameplay into the semi-auto. So if we're, if we're going into the full auto mode, you mainly want to build into recoil control, um, the 100 round belt mag, and then it is your choice of either going with a stock, I personally would, because I personally like having the stock, uh, whether you want to go with, uh, I would personally go with, the full, with full recoil control. I don't like this scope. If you are okay with the scope, you can use it, but personally, I would go with either the Moore's Dot, the Dydar Model 2023, the quarter cl quarters classic reflex, the AW Gen One optic, or just any optic you feel comfortable with. You could use the Jack Glassless, anything. You could use a slate reflector, like Sublime Pro as the mini or the mini dot, whatever. Just I would say go with any reflex optic if you're going to be mainly using fully auto. I'm actually going to be doing this just so I could have the Jack Glassless Glassless optic, and then this is where I would kind of go with for a fully auto build of this thing. So. There's that. No, see, it does still have a crap load of recoil that you have to control, but it's it's manageable. If you want to go without the optic, you obviously could put this on, put the Jack BFB on there, uh, just to show it, because I did do a little bit of testing with this thing. Jack BFB does this. It makes it much more manageable and controllable, but obviously the optic makes things a little bit harder because of the way it just covers up so much of the screen. But we're not going to be using that build. We're going to be using a different build. We're going to be using like a DMR. So I personally will be using the, for this video. I will be using uh, a mixture of different optics. I'm actually going to be using an optic I don't normally use, and that's going to be if I can get to it. I'm going to be using the use the holographic because I do like the holographic quite a bit. Um, Again, you can just sort of use whatever optic I want. You like, I actually do personally like this one a lot because of 
all the different optic choices. I'll probably go with this for the sake of the video. Uh, and then obviously putting Polyatomic on there. If I can remember where it is. There it is. Also, there is a new camo available in the events category uh, that I will show off. You also have, uh, because of the pre-order, if you own Game Pass, you get this camo, which I actually might be using for the sake of the thumbnail. Um, but back to the build itself. Um, we're going to be going with the 50 round magazine for the movement speed. We're going to be going with the sprint to fire and aim down sight speed. And instead of going with a recoil controlling stock or going with one of these that increases your mobility, I'm going to be going with a suppressor. You can choose anyone you want. I personally like the Quartermaster, the Shadow Strike, the VT7 Spitfire, Monolithic, and the. For, if it's available on the weapon, either the FTAC Reaper, the FTAC Dreadnought, the Nil Sound, or if you're using a sniper, the Talon 16 is probably one of my favorites. But, uh, for this, because I am going to be still trying to use it in the semi. Uh, both, I would be using it in both modes, mainly DMR. I'm going to go with the Quartermaster. Alright, this is the build. We're going to hop on into a match of... I was going to have it a match of arcade, but we're actually going to hop into a ma match of the 10v10 mosh pit for a change. Try to mix things up. And I will see you guys in a moment when we're in that match. Uh, but I'm still going to be talking a little bit because I do want to talk about a couple things. Um, one is I do... Hopefully... Keyword. Hopefully. Plan on streaming. Um, at some point this Saturday, so tomorrow when you guys are seeing this, it'll either be Destiny, it'll be... Maybe Call of Duty Zombies, uh, Monarch 3, or maybe Cold War doing the Camel Ground the new, on the new account. Or there will be a stream of some kind. I might even try dipping my toes in a different game for a change. Um, oh, excuse me, I just burped again. As for the Let's Play stuff, um, I have mentioned that... I think I mentioned it in the Rocket Racing video. I wanted to do Star Wars Outlaws and cover that. I am debating on doing it. I'm still going to look into the length of it, and I do plan on wanting to cover it, at least start covering it by the end of this year, before 2025, at least. If it seems like it's too big of a game, I might leave it to exclusively streams and have it be our first major stream playthrough. Because Elden Ring... I'm going to leave it on the back burner for a little bit. Not because I don't want to play it, and not because it's hard. I have been enjoying playing it solo and actually having fun. But I want to put that on the back burner, mainly because I want to do a... Not to say a video separately on it, but I want to give that its time. Um, same with, like, Sekiro and all these other Souls games that I own. Uh, as for what we're going to be doing is Saturday, depending on, what I, uh, depending on my availability tomorrow, I'm going to be trying to record a video for that. It will most likely be a continuation of a Let's Play that uh, has a couple episodes up, like Alien or um, maybe an episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. I don't know. I'm tossing ideas around. I don't know 100% yet. Um, but Sunday will guaranteed be a new series. Um, Sunday, I don't know what it will be yet. I don't want to confirm or deny it, but it will be... Here's here's basically what it's going to be between. Open Roads, which is a small indie game. Rolls of Avum, an EA magic shooter, best way I can describe it. Um, Tomb Raider is on the table. It is not a high candidate, but it is on the table. As well as... Um, what else was there? I already forgot. Oh, and then... Uh, there was... Still Wakes the Deep. And one other one that, I'm, that is escaping me at the moment. Oh, uh, Spirit of the North, that one. Uh, those are the, basically the main games I'm playing with for next week. I do not know definitively which ones are going to happen, but just there's your idea for Sunday. Um, it will be recorded before the stream on Sunday. Also, I know I said I want to use the mainly semi-auto, but this is a somewhat smaller map, so I might not be able to make good use of it, so we're going to be doing a mixture of both. Yeah, this thing with the 50-round mag, like I mentioned, is, in my opinion, the Ooh, that's a nice emblem. I like that emblem. I might have to look and see where that emblem comes from. Um, is the better of the... If you're going to be using this like a DMR, if you're using it like a bullet hose, obviously go with 100. It makes the most sense. But if you're... Why do you use like a DMR? Like, I actually plan on trying to tr tr test that in Warzone for a bit, because i actually been enjoying Warzone. It's a tiny bit. Uh, mainly trying to go for some of the, cam the camos in the 
mastery challenges, because they're actually kind of fun. Uh, gives them to do when I'm not grinding out zombies or multiplayer. And a way, uh, it gives me a way of getting levels and XP um, on top of the fact of just it's, it's something better to do. It's not that I'm a, a bored of multiplayer zombies. It's just I like having something else to do, you know? Um, especially when we have a... Right now, I have the finish the battle pass for Fortnite, so waiting for the new one to drop in as we're recording this an hour, effectively. Um, as well as... Um, like, obviously, Dead by Daylight, Overwatch has a new season coming out. That'll probably be covered on next week at some point. Obviously, there is a uh, Fortnite new season. I'll be covering that some week, at some point next week as well. I guess it's a way to get paid to get the Battle Pass and all that, because I do have a job, like I said. Um, I might still cover it, even though I don't have the Battle Pass, because I obviously don't need the Battle Pass to play Fortnite. It's just nice to have because it means your matchmaking is going to be screwy and stuff like that, so. As for... Other games we'll be covering, obviously Black Ops 6's beta is get, uh, approaching faster than I expected. Um, and I'm very excited for that. Um, and, well, I'm not going to talk about it too much in this video as I don't want to stir up a whole bunch of stuff. Um... I basically was gonna. I wasn't gonna be. I wasn't even gonna cover it at all because it's not my. It's not my thing to do. Really, I don't like doing these type of clients and everything. But I, I am aware of the H2 mod stuff, and I'll just leave it as like. I'll leave it as simply as like it's a company defending their intellectual property. It, it was to it be expected at this point. It's not like the, it's it's it has nothing to do with the fact that they want your money and they're doing it this way. It's like. They were probably unaware of it until it gained so much popularity and they looked into it like, oh, this is why. Basically, leave it at that. Love or hate companies, it's just bound to happen, you know? It's a company paying intellectual property. Disney would do the same thing. Like, D Disney would do the same thing if give in this, a similar situation. Like, it's not just an Activision thing. But, on a more lighter note, um, uh, the next season is all Marvel-themed. I'm very excited for it because I've been actually getting into Marvel somewhat. Not a super big amount, but like a, enough that I'm like kind of interested. I do want to see Deadpool versus Wolverine. Obviously, with Dead by Daylight uh, having its FNAF uh, collapse sometime next year, I do want to get into DVD a little bit more. Um, whether that's playing with friends, playing solo, just trying to have some fun and not to get angry at the game because of how annoying survivors can play or how annoying survivors can play and how unfun it can be sometimes playing as a killer when you have survivors you know what they're doing which i know is part of the point it's just still when you're haven't played the game in ages and you have people who are just not abusing the mechanics but just using the mechanics and they're being annoying as hell it's not great all the time you know But, yeah, I'm trying to think of other games I want, I'm going to be covering. Obviously, Destiny 2 is going to have its uh, episode 3, or ep Act 3, coming out eventually, here in a moment. Um, we also have uh, Overwatch 2. So see, I already brought that up, but that's definitely going to be happening some point next week. Because that has Kitty, uh, not Kitty Go, uh, Juno, who is my probably my new favorite character. Because um, I absolutely adore their design. And how cute they are. They're so they're so small and I must protect. And again, I mean cute in the oh my goodness, I want to protect and hold. Not in the oh they're they're hot and I want to do adult thing to them. No, it's not always about that. It's like, oh I like how oh, cute they are. The, the designs it makes me very makes me feel very happy, you know? Okay? It's not always about adult fun time, okay? It's not always about that. Sometimes it's just I like design, it makes me feel happy. Um, other things I wanted to talk about are also going to be related to... I think I already mentioned this stream-related stuff, but I do plan on trying to stream at least once a week, given I have time and I don't have anything conflicting, whether that's work or doctor's appointments or whatever, especially since I'm working on uh, trying to find a house and move out because of... 
family stuff. Basically, to put it simply, because I don't want get, to get into it. I don't think I ever will get into it. Um, at least in a video publicly until I am able to talk about it without ha being possibly overheard. If that makes any sense. Um, but, yeah. Could you please stop doing that? You are obnoxious. You're using... You're using a longbow and treating it like it's a freaking ballista, man. I think he's a little mad. Something tells me he's a tiny bit schmad. Okay. up um i will say this again my goal for my modern uh, modern for three god i am so tired my goal for black up six uh in terms of like camo stuff is i want to get every single multiplayer camo done that's basically a given because this is one of the years where multiplayer is my main mode not because i dislike zombies because i actually like how this multiplayer feels for once for being a modern cod a modern warfare multiplayer. Um, um, oh, one second. Also, if you hear my dog and if you hear my dog and them yelling at my dog, it's because he's begging for food. It's dinner time, and they're all but he's begging because he's old and needy. Um, that was them asking if they, my AC was off, because our house's power situation is still very stupid, and it's nothing we can do to fix it. Um, but yeah, my goal is to try and finish the Act 4 story in Zombies. That person with the Superi plays like an absolute nerd, and I hate it. Like, dude, you're playing, you're playing pubs. It is pubs. It is not, it is not the CDL, dude. You're not going to get picked up by anybody. Please tell me that was a car 98. Okay, it was. Good. I would have been so mad if that was anything else. Sip. Ah, damn it, I ran out of ammo. Now he switched to... T uh, now he switched to the STG and the static. All right. Good lord, what is he doing? It's the next one just because it's not worth it.
I want to see how fast that man killed me. Okay, fair enough. I'm not mad. I'm just like, what the hell? I, I am about to switch to a static build. I'm about to I'm about to switch to the zoom build and just absolutely obliterate this this guy. I I am getting furious. If I if I died one one more time, I'm doing it. If I'm dying to him one more time, I am switching to the build. What? The, why? I am so angry at this guy, man. Anyway. Now that that match is over and I've successfully been incredibly angry, I'm now going to stop playing that mode because I've remembered why I stopped playing 10v10. Anyway, that was the Jack Brodian. This, if you if you really want to know the build, by the way, this is the not the full thing, but if you want to see the full build as to what my um, is what I like to call the Zoom build, it is this. Right here, and if you want to go full melee, you go with the ninja vest. I personally will go with that one. I personally really like this build because it works out great and kind of builds into it. But if you're not going to really say you use this, it's the best build. But just, this is the zoom build if you're curious. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this, be sure you like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with some more video games. I'm now going to calm the hell down before I have an aneurysm.